فويلكم شيخ عروه من الرحمه ستوديو انا وود لايك فيرستلي تو اسك يو هاو يو بيجين تو بي ا مسلم اند تو بري اسلام اند واي This is, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is a very uh, uh, big question, in, 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 in fact. But, uh, yes, immediately and step by step, you told us about uh, this story uh, because of yours are eager to uh, know about it. Yes. As uh, much as possible as you can in yes. two minutes. Yes, in because two minutes? It, yes, because we know the, the, very quick. the time is limited. <laughs> the, the time is limited. Well, uh, the first I want to say in this uh, subject is, of course, Without uh, the help of Allah, Akbar, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would be not possible for me to be, become uh, a Muslim. Uh, without uh, his support, without uh, um, this, it will, uh, I would still have been uh, what I was before, that is a Kufar. But of course, uh, uh, my uh, uh, tribute is uh, that I, uh, 20 years ago, became a believer. Uh, I lived a, a very uh, harsh life in, in uh, Sweden. Uh, there was a lot of problems in my life, and uh, I didn't know any way out from this. Uh, I mean, really, uh, no way out of it. Uh, so uh, I've heard uh, at a distance that you could uh, pray to God, but this was not uh, something real for me at, uh, mm. at this mm. time, because yes. uh, I was, uh, I was uh, not engaged at all in religion or, or, or nothing like that. But, Uh, my, my feelings, uh, my loneliness and my emptiness was so big at this time, so I had to uh, do something. Uh, and uh, I said to myself, okay, I will pray one time. I will try this, I must try this. Uh, and I also decided that I will pray to God, nothing else, not to some religion or anything like that. Uh, because uh, I'm born Christian, as uh, everybody knows now. Uh, but I didn't practice Christian re religion at all. Uh, and uh, w what happened is that uh, I found this uh, too much stories, uh, but I believed in uh, the Creator. And I, uh, at this time, I had this last chance, you could say, and I prayed to one God 20 years ago. And uh, the fact is, uh, what happened is I got immediate help. So I had to confess to myself, to my family, mm. to my friends, that were, were all of them non-believers. Uh, I had to confess I was a believer. And this, I think, uh, in the combination with uh, uh, Allah's help, made me a Muslim uh, about uh, uh, 18 years after this uh, happening. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Harwa. Assalamu alaikum, Rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Welcome in Egypt. Yes, I want to ask you about uh, uh, the converting point that made you come into Islam. The, uh, the, the converting? The converting point, the, the, cause, the, the main cause that made you enter, in, enter Islam. Uh, the, the main call is uh, Allah, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's uh, without doubt uh, the, the only reason that I sit here today. Uh, but, uh, of course, there is a, a lot of uh, matters in dunya that, mm. uh, of course, you, you read the news, you look at media and so on. And uh, one of those points is, uh, in fact, uh, 9th 11th, uh, where I, I started to uh, be interested because the media in, in the West was very sharp against the, the Quran and the Muslims and so on. And, Uh, this was like a, a ready package. Uh, already mm. from the first second, uh, this was uh, something very big uh, and uh, clear who did this and what uh, they had uh, got their uh, inspiration from. And it was, of course, the Quran. It, it was like that. And uh, I was uh, thinking this is false or I must look. So this made me go to the library in, my, uh, in, in Stockholm and uh, borrow uh, the Quran and I uh, kept it uh, under my coat when I carried it home because it was like a forbidden book mm. <laughs> uh, for me as a, as a Swede, almost like a forbidden book. But when I opened it to look at those places uh, mentioned in the, the media, I didn't find uh, this. I found a message of love, a message of uh, understanding, of peace. Mm. And uh, this is so important for me, uh, what happened, because I also, at the same time, I was very happy to open this book. And I started to read it, and uh, this is a recommendation to all 
mm. uh, pe people in Sweden also read the Quran. Uh, but at the same time, I was very, very angry because I was this had been deceived for so many years, uh, told by uh, media, and told, and this uh, mm. deception is still mm. uh, in full action in Europe. Uh, I've been deceived that this was a, a dangerous thing. Yeah. So I'm very happy, but uh, I hope uh, more people will be happy. Uh, finally, in one minute, uh, in what way you can serve Islam in the future? I hope to uh, be able to serve Islam in the future through uh, Dawah. Mm. Uh, uh, I already started, in fact. Uh, my re recipe is very simple. It's, uh, uh, I, I want to transfer uh, the, most, the biggest treasure in this world, and this is the Quran. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, there is also the Hadith. Mm. That is very important for everybody to take part of. Uh, that is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life mm. uh, and uh, how he acted. Mm. Uh, but my first step is, um, and I've been given all my family uh, uh, one ex uh, ex of this uh, the Holy Quran, and I uh, tell them read uh, mm. because uh, the reading was uh, uh, the reason why I became a Muslim. Uh, the reading of uh, the words of Allah. Mm. Uh, th this is uh, the, the simple, the simple uh, answer I can mm -hmm. give. As you know, there is a misunderstanding of, uh, of Islam in Europe. Yes. In Sweden, in Europe. Yes. How can you defeat these obstacles ac uh, until accepting Islam actually? The, the, the big problem is uh, that the, the obstacle is so big. Uh, that you have to be uh, very careful uh, about how you, uh, so to say, promote mm. Islam. Mm. Uh, f f the, the first thing is uh, to um, understand that a lot of people in Sweden, uh, I talk about Sweden now, they might have uh, their own beliefs, mm. uh, but they don't show it and they don't uh, act like uh, believers. Mm. Uh, and. Uh, Therefore, it's a big difference between Islam that is so uh, steady, fast in its uh, mm. way of uh, doing the, the, the religion. I mean, the, uh, the prayers, everything is very uh, good mm. and uh, easy. Uh, but for Swedish people, I think most of this is like... Uh, I, I heard one voice, for example, uh, when it comes to making Salat. He said, uh, oh, I'm happy that you make your uh, physical training. Mm. You, they, they look, some people look upon uh, what, what we are doing in, in the Mesquite as something good for your body, of course, and uh, maybe a little uh, thinking of other things for, for some minutes, uh, like uh, meditation, mm. uh, but they don't uh, put the aspect in that uh, it's uh, Allah Akbar who uh, cr cr created us, who created everything. Uh, they don't put this logic uh, into the, uh, mm. their life. Mm. And, uh, uh, this, for my own sake, in fact, uh, tapped me of my, all my blood. I, I, I didn't know what to do, uh, but now uh, the solution is here, uh, mm. and I feel uh, like a whole human being uh, mm. and uh, longing for, for uh, paradise, inshallah. We all uh, go to paradise. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it feels very comfortable. And so, I mean, the question is very hard mm. how to convince people of uh, belief. Mm. Uh, mm. Of course, this is also at the same time a big market mm. because uh, I talk for Sweden. Swedish people are very honest and very uh, good in many, many ways. So uh, I still don't have an answer for this. Of course, I'm a young Muslim also. Mm. But uh, we must make people believe. Now, uh, finally, we want to listen some Quran from you. Uh, okay, I try. In one minute. In, in one minute. Bismillahir uh, <coughs> Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Hir Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Rahim. Malik Yaw Medin. Iyak in Ahbudu, Iyak in Astain. Ihdina Sirat al Mustakim. 
صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد